Hey everybody, thank you so much for signing on today for our POAC online recreational events. My name is Brittany. Uh, hello to all the new people and hello again to everyone that's been watching for the past uh, few weeks, even I believe it's two months now. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support in all of this. If you missed our yoga sessions, we do this every single Tuesday, same POAC time, same POAC channel. You can go on our Facebook page or you can check out our YouTube channel, which is at POAC Autism Services. You can check out all of our playlists between Storytime with Mr. Gary, Yoga with, with Jennifer from Jenny Zen Yoga, and all the other amazing events that we have. So quick thing also, make sure you start your walk team, guys. Our virtual walk is July 19th. It is a Sunday. Anyone can do it. Walk on a treadmill, walk down the block, anywhere. Uh, post it take pictures. We would love to see all of your smiling faces and we will see you guys very, very soon. All right, let's get this going with Jennifer from Jenny Zen Yoga. Hey everybody, I'm Jennifer. How are you? So happy to have people back. If you are a newcomer to the POAC channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. They have amazing activities for everybody. I'm so happy to be involved with this program and we are wrapping up our second month of online yoga so so excited to be with all of you looking forward to continuing in june coming back with a new theme but let's settle down let's wrap up our gardening yoga so remember with our gardening yoga we are being grounded we're feeling the dirt the earth we're settling down and we're having that that fresh start for spring and so now that we're well into this our garden is going you know doing well and we've got a lot of moves to go with it. So come to a comfortable seat. Maybe your legs are crossed. Maybe your legs are straight out. I'm going to adjust. Hands can be wherever they're comfortable for you. On your legs, palms down, palms up. Thumb and first finger touching, other fingers out. Yoga fancy, shins nice and parallel. Hello to all of my friends. I'm seeing a lot of Frontier, David, and Adrian, and Haley. Awesome. Glad that you're here. Feel your spine grow tall and long. Top of your head grows up to the ceiling. Shoulders come down. Close your eyes if you'd like to. And feel your breath come in your nose and out of your nose. Do that again. In your nose and out. One more time. Maybe you feel your stomach moving a little bit with all that breath. So we're going to come into some different breaths. We're going to start with our moving sun breath. So let's take a big inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, arms out to your sides. Inhale, hands, put one hand on top of the other, right over your heart in the center of your chest. And exhale back out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time for this moving sun breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lower those arms down. Make a circle with your arms. Take a big inhale. We're going to blossom like a flower and Open up like a flower, nice and slow on that exhale. Inhale, arms in a circle, bringing them up. Big inhale, exhale through your nose again. One last time. Inhale, big circle, inhaling and exhale. That flower is nice and open up. And now hopefully those bunnies are not getting into our lettuce in our garden, but they do love flowers. So let's imagine, let's pick a nice bunch of flowers, get our bunny nose ready, bring those flowers up to our nose, take three quick sniffs. And exhale. Hmm. <sighs> One more time, smell those beautiful flowers. And exhale, bring everything down. So coming into our flexibilities, we're going to bring the soles of our feet together. Heels could be pulled in or pushed out. 
and our back. So we don't want our backs to go down. We don't want to lean back. We still want to be nice and straight. We're going to inhale through our nose, knees come up. And on our exhale, knees come down. So we're fluttering like a butterfly now, going throughout the flowers. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you have a butterfly bush in your yard. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And you can keep that comfortable butterfly seat or come back and have your legs crossed. You can switch the leg that was in front. Big inhale up. You can make your nice big sun in a circle with your arms. And exhale nice and slow. Inhale again. Big circle. Exhale. Take a twist to the right. Inhale really big. Exhale over to the left. Inhale really big. Another twist. Inhaling back to center. And another twist. Inhale one last time. And exhale. Circle those wrists. Bring those arms down to the ground. So coming in again, back is tall, hands are resting, big inhale, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale back to center, exhale, chin to ceiling. Inhale back to center, exhale, looking to your right. Inhale back to center, exhale to the left. Tip of your nose is a marker, however you want to make it a color rainbow glitter whatever sparkle exhale and inhale as you come up exhale draw those big smiley faces inhale exhale inhale one last time exhale inhale coming into our torso roll so remember your Torso, the circle that you make, your torso, which is that center part of your body where your stomach is and your lower back, it does not have to be a huge circle. Some people like big circles. Some people like just little circles. That's fine. If you're uh, going the opposite direction that I do, that's okay. Just make sure when I switch, you switch to your opposite side. Back is straight. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, come down. Rolling around. Inhale as you come back. Exhale as you come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come forward and freeze. Go in the opposite way. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, come forward, drop your head down, and nice and slow, roll up, heads coming up last. Really big smile, let me see all of your teeth. Now pucker your lips up like you're giving it, throwing a big kiss to somebody. Big smile, throw out that kiss. Now do fishy lips. Now, see, you can move your jaw, just this lower part down here. Can you move it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a silly face. One more big smile. That's what I love to see. Coming straight up. Big inhale. Shoulders up. Exhale and down. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. And exhale. We're going to do shoulder circles, but we're not going to have our fingers up. We're going to just bring one shoulder forward, the other shoulder forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Going back this time, inhale, exhale. I feel like I'm dancing. I'm sitting and I'm dancing. Arms out to the sides, shoulder circles, arm circles, I'm sorry, going forward. We just did our shoulders and freeze and going back. 
and freeze. Bring them down a little bit. Keeping those arms straight, bringing our arms forward, small circles and freeze. And going back and freeze. Lower them down. We're going to come into our movement, our asanas. And the first pose that we're going to do is our child's pose. So in the past, when we've done our child's poses, we've had our knees apart. If you'd like to keep your knees together, that's fine. Your knees could be apart. You're going to bring your chest down. Your arms can be out straight. Your arms can be folded down and rest your forehead. Your arms can come back. If your forehead doesn't come all the way to the floor, put one fist on top of the other and rest it. So we're in our child's pose. We're resting. So we're going to try to be still for a moment. And we're thinking that we're planting seeds. We're close to the ground. You might have to dig in that ground. But let's try to be still. And listen to our breath. So do an inhale through your nose and an exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I think I'm going to plant some watermelon seeds today. It's my favorite fruit. One more time. Inhale and exhale. So we're in our child's pose. We're going to release our hands, just bring them down, drop your head down, and we're going to slowly roll up, heads coming up last, bringing those arms all the way up, palms are touching, so your palms are going to touch, you're going to put them all the way up in the air, we're in our extended mountain pose. So we're sitting, our arms are extended, and we're taking a deep breath in, and out, everything's through our nose, one more. Let's open up like a flower. Inhale, bring those hands back together. And exhale, one more time. Inhale. Exhale, bringing our arms down. Coming forward, swinging our legs around to sit on our bottom again. Soles of the feet together. We're coming back into that butterfly. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, knees are up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Now we're going to come into a different flower pose. We've done this one. So we're in our butterfly, our hands come under our calves. We lean back a little bit, not too much. Feet up in the air, flex your feet if you can and try to keep that back straight. So let's take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is another flower pose. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Bring that flower back down. We're going to swing our legs around. We're going to stand up quickly. Spread your feet apart. Toes are out a little bit. So they're pointed out to the sides. And we're going to... Let's actually, let's bend forward. Let's bend forward. You might touch the floor, you might not. And then we're going to bend our knees, coming into a squat. So if you see my feet, I'm trying to keep my heels on the floor. I'm trying to keep my knees and my toes in line. And I'm trying to pick my back up. And I'm using my elbows to help keep those knees open. My hands are in my prayer hands. So. Sometimes we, we use this a few times for planting seeds, but today we're gonna to call this our bee pose. And we're going to do our bee's breath with it. So big inhale and bzzz, like a bee. One more time. Bzzz, like a bee. One hand in front, one hand behind. Sit back down, come back into your butterfly. So soles of the feet are together, those bottoms of your feet. Take an, we're gonna do two big breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So we're going into a new pose today. We have actually, have, I think we have two new poses in here today. Knew you guys were ready for it. This is called a spider pose. 
So I hope nobody's afraid of spiders. Don't be like Ron Weasley. But we're going to put our feet on the floor. We're going to take our hands. Our fingers are going to go behind us. They're going to be pointing toward our bottom. We push into our hands and our feet. And we look at the ceiling. Don't drop your head. It's a reverse tabletop. But we call this a spider pose. So let's exhale. Let's sit back down. Hug our knees for a minute. And try a new one. Hands pointing toward your bottom. And push up. Reverse tabletop, or we call it a spider. Exhale. Hug it in. We're coming back into a child's pose. And like I said before, knees could be together or knees could be a little bit apart. We are going to lower down. Try to see if your head gets to the floor. If not, just use one hand. And the other arm, we're going to have it fly behind us. So arms are flying behind us. And this is called the ladybug pose. So let's take three deep breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Release those hands. Stretch out onto your belly. Lower yourself down. And we're going to go into a snake pose. And we've done, we've called them cobras, but we'll call them snakes for today. So we only started with our hands out. And then we bring our hands back by the sides of our chest, elbows come back. And we had two, three different snakes we could do, or cobras. We could just lift a little bit. This is our baby snake. A little bit more, our snake. And this is going to be our boa constrictor, a big king cobra, okay? So you're going to think, do I want to do a baby snake? Because they're not scary. A snake or the boa constrictor. So lay down, let's stretch our arms out again. Do things in front of us. Pull those hands back, elbows back. Decide what you're going to do. I think I'm going to do just a regular cobra. And come on up. Make sure you're breathing. In and out. In and out. One hand on top of the other, rest your forehead. Whew. So maybe this time you're going to try, maybe you'll do the boa constrictor. Remember with the boa constrictor that we want to keep a little bend in our elbows and our shoulders away from our ears. So stretch your arms out. Pull your arms back, elbows back. Are you doing a baby snake, a regular snake, or a boa? Tops of the feet are on the floor. And go into your snake. Hiss like a snake. And stretch out. Actually, we're doing another new pose. OK, this is one of our new poses. This is called a basket because when you have a garden and you go out to pick stuff when it's ripe and ready, you need a basket to put it in. So we're going to build up to it. So we're going to start with our both arms out, kick up one heel towards your bottom. The opposite hand is going to push into your floor. The same hand and leg is going to try to reach each other. It might not. You might be able to get your ankle, but what I don't want to see, I don't want anybody twisting. We're looking ahead and we're trying to lift our chest up and stretch out. Other foot back, same arm back, push in, look forward and stretch out. Both feet up, you can flex them. Bring both arms back, lift that chest. Look what happens when I try both. Miss Jen's not able to reach her ankles. That's okay. Maybe lift your knees up a little bit. But look how my back's curved like a basket. Let's stretch out. Woo! Big inhale in. Big inhale out. Woo! It's like a workout today. Heels up again. Let's try our basket one more time. Arms back. Chest up. Look forward. Try to lift your knees. Big inhale. Big exhale, awesome job. Stretch out, 
push back into tabletop and swing around, bringing both legs out in front of you. So our feet are flexed. You can't see my feet now, but that's okay. Legs are straight, feet are flexed. Hands around our sides, bellies in, back is straight. Look forward. And this is just called a staff pose. This is another resting pose. And you can put a little bend in your knees if you want to. And we're going to come into our caterpillar pose. So let's take a deep inhale. Side out of our mouth. Another deep inhale in. And on your exhale, just bring those hands forward. And we're leaning over, but we're not dropping our head. I can still see my toes. I'm wiggling my toes. I can see them. And take a big inhale and maybe drop your head if you'd like. And just breathe here for a minute. Inhale through that nose and exhale. One more time. Slowly roll up, head comes up last. We're going to plant our feet on the floor. Hug our knees into our chest, arms out. We're going to lay down on the floor. Hug those knees into your chest, feet up to the ceiling, and we're in our waterfall pose. So hands are on your belly. Take a deep inhale in. And exhale, because we needed water in our garden. So I like to think of the waterfall pose. Big inhale, feel that belly push up. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, breathe on your own. You know what to do. Last breath, inhale, exhale. Hug those knees into your chest. Feet are on the floor. We're in, I want those soles together again and your legs are opening to the side and you can use your hands to support because we are doing our relaxing butterfly. Our butterfly was so busy before with our legs moving. Now we're doing our relaxing butterfly. So we're looking at the ceiling. Hands are still on our bellies. Big inhale and exhale. Feel that belly move. It pushes up on your inhale and pulls down on your exhale. Inhale, exhale. You know what to do. Do it on your own. One last time. Inhale, and exhale. Hug your knees into your chest again. Roll over onto one side. Push yourself up and come face the camera the camera, your, your screen, my camera, just so that you can see what we're doing. So we're sitting comfortably. So legs could be crossed, legs could be out, just like we did at the beginning. And we're going to do some body holds again, just feeling what's going on. So one hand on your belly, one hand right over your heart in the center of your chest. Shoulders should feel a little more relaxed now. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Remember, it's all through our nose. Maybe you can feel that you're breathing a little bit deeper. Now let's move one hand up to our forehead, keeping that back straight still. Inhale. And exhale. And now taking that hand, bringing it to the top of your arm, almost like you're giving yourself, so you, you move one hand up to your chest, like you're giving yourself a little hug and feel that breath again. Big inhale and exhale, S switch those arms. Another big inhale 
and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One last time, inhale and exhale. We're going to do a different type of body scan today. And we're going to use our imaginations and think a lot. So you can either stay sitting up, you can lay down. Miss Jen's going to stay sitting up, but feel free to lay down. And if you're laying down, just take a moment, feel your feet, feel your bottom, feel your shoulders, feel your back, feel the back of your head on the floor. Everybody, whether you're sitting or laying down, deep inhale through your nose and sigh it out of your mouth. And decide if you're going to keep your eyes open or closed, whichever. You can change your mind halfway through. But I want everyone, and we're going to try to be quiet during this, just listen to Miss Jen's voice. Imagine that you're laying in a garden that you planted and you're surrounded by all these flowers. And if you don't like the dirt too much, you're on a towel so you're not getting dirty. So don't even worry about it. All these beautiful flowers are around us. What do the flowers smell like? Think about it in your head. Okay, maybe that bunny nose is helping you to sniff out those flower smells. What colors are they? What colors do you see in your head? How do they feel? around your body? Are they brushing you? Is the wind moving them? Can you hear the sounds of any butterflies? Maybe their wings are fluttering by. Do you hear any bees buzzing around you? And they're not gonna come by you. They like the flowers the best, but you might hear little bzzz coming around. Are any ladybugs out? You hear frogs? Maybe there's some frogs in your garden. Ribbit, ribbit. Or do you hear any snakes in another part of your garden? They're not anywhere by you. Do you feel the warm sun shining down on you? Whether your eyes are open or closed, you can still feel that warmth. So do you feel the sun warming your feet and your toes and your ankles? Do you feel the sun warming your legs and your knees? Do you feel the sun warming your belly and your back and your chest and your shoulders and your arms? Do you feel the sun on your face? Maybe your hair is getting warm. And if you're laying down, stay laying down. If you're sitting up, let's bring ourselves down. So we're laying down. Feet are out. We're in our final resting pose. Hands are on our belly or they're out to our sides. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And sigh it out of your mouth. And we're going to still stay quiet. So on your inhale, I want you to think I am. And on your exhale, having a fresh start. Inhale, I am. Exhale, having a fresh start. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to try to be quiet for a minute. Try really hard. You can do this. Inhale. Exhale, Miss Jen's gonna go quiet too, so pay attention to your breath. Think either inhale, exhale, or I am having a fresh start. And we're going to go quiet in three, two, one.
start to hear all of the bees and the birds maybe and the butterflies around you. Feel the wind in your hair, feel the sun coming down on you. Take a great big stretch, stretch your arms overhead, point your toes, hug your knees into your chest, roll over onto one side and come up to a sitting position. So as we're getting ready to end our yoga session, that was like the fastest yoga session ever. I'm so sad, but thank you to all my special friends who have been here, our new friends who have joined in with us. Make sure you're getting your walk team organized for July 19th for our virtu the POAX virtual walk. I have my team all set. I can't wait to see your pictures. You'll see my picture of myself and my family out walking. And make sure you get your POAX t-shirts to be wearing those pictures for your walk too. So let's take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring our hands to the center of our chest. And before we finish with our special saying, remember that we'll be here for yoga. Same POAC time, same POAC channel. Next Tuesday, 3.15, we'll be back for more yoga. We're going to finish with our special word of namaste in a minute, remembering that namaste means that the special part of me sees and honors the special part of you. So thank you for joining me for yoga today. And let's all sit, take a deep inhale and say namaste.